Hello! All right, I am doing a Trader Joe's haul. It has been a minute since I've done one of these. So I'm gonna show you what I got today. They had some new stuff I'm excited to try. I've said it. Oh, I thumbs up. I've said it once, I'm saying it a hundred times. Trader Joe's is fantastic for easy meal prep. If you don't want to chop dice, all, all that kind of stuff. They have so many options to make meal planning and prepping and staying on track easy. So let me get started with a few things that I got. I kind of just bought um, sides and things that we use to make meals from Trader Joe's today. No meat or anything like that. I typically get that from Costco, better price, better quantity. Um, but so I got two big things of cheese. I like that they offer light cheese. I got a mozzarella and a Mexican blend because that's typically the kinds of cheese that we use for pizza, Italian stuff, and Mexican stuff. Um, this ricotta, spinach, ravioli, Finley loves this. So easy to heat, especially on a night like you're running quick from games or kids events or whatever it is. Throw it in a pan. You can throw a little extra sauce on it, which is what I do. They eat it up. It's great. Um, this vegetable fried rice, Brian loves this. Again, so quick, so easy. Throw it in a pan, heat it up, throw, have some meat prepped in the fridge. You should have your protein prepped, right? Throw that in there, done, done, done. I like my raisins from Trader Joe's because they have no added sugar. Uh, Finley loves raisins, I love raisins, so I double up buy two because Trader Joe's is not close to me. Um, so when I go, I get two because there's no added sugar in their raisins. I get my popcorn from there. I make my own popcorn at home. Uh, quick, easy snack again, where I can control the oil that's used, the amount of butter, the salt, all that kind of stuff. And it's delicious. Popcorn is a great source of fiber. Um, so love popcorn. I got some kimchi. I like their kimchi there. I love cabbage, so anything cabbage. So I stick this in all my different like scrambles that I make or whatever it is, I throw that in there. Always get frozen veggies. I got some cut corn. This again is one of my favorite things to keep in the freezer when you're short on meal prep, this shrimp stir fry. It is 22 grams of protein and 200 calories and eight grams of fiber in this guy. So I always buy a few bags of this, keep it in the freezer to make meal prep super quick and super easy. Shrimp stir fry. A couple bags always load up on this. Again, I love cabbage. And so this is green and red cabbage with carrots. So a few bags of this, some power greens. I just throw all of this together in a big bowl. I'll eat it cold, I'll saute it, I'll use it in tacos. We use it in a ton of different ways. Just have it prepped and ready in my fridge. Like I said, all I gotta do is cut the bag open, throw it in a bowl, done. And I can cook it and use it however I want throughout the week. Um, their rices, I love their frozen rices. They're quick, they're easy. I do take them out of the package that they're in and put them in a glass bowl and steam them. This was a new medley for me. I haven't seen this one there. This was brown rice, red rice, and black barley. Sorry, they're coloring behind me. Um, that's when I can get this stuff done. Um, so uh, I really like these. Again, quick easy way to have and this one has four grams of fiber per one cup of serving and five grams of protein that is excellent this is a great carbohydrate source great um got some peanuts we're having a few friends over this weekend i always have like peanuts and pretzels sitting out when we have friends over we're playing a little gambling game this weekend um so got some pretzels as well um they have their own version of pringles and my kid loves Pringles. So we buy Pringles in our house. So we're going to try the Trader Joe's version of Pringles. Um, this was new for me as well. This stir fried garlic cabbage. Again, cabbage. Love cabbage. It's just so good for It's so good for you in so many different ways. Um, from balancing blood sugar, from helping to balance hormones to aiding digestion. It's really good for your liver. Like your liver loves cabbage. Um, so this one again, this has got seven grams of fiber in this whole package and it's one cup. You could easily eat this one cup per meal and have seven grams of fiber, six grams of protein and it's 260 calories. Throw that with a little lean protein. So good, such an easy quick meal again to make. Um, this, I bought this for the first time over the holidays. So good, it is so good and again, easy. Everything's chopped up, I throw it in. With this, my batch of this together, and throw it in, throw some eggs in there, throw my protein in there, whatever it is. I mean, just 
easy guys it's so easy it's so easy to be on plan this is butternut squash sweet potato red onion celery parsley sage and rosemary so i try to get as many different plants as i can in my diet each week things like this is a great way to do that because for your gut you actually want as many different varieties of cult or cultures of bacteria that you can get. That is what equals a healthy gut, high immunity, like all that. So you want to eat a variety of things. So I mean, even this, this has green and red cabbage. Those are still two different plants. So they're each going to have separate bacteria. That's going to have a separate bacteria than this Napa cabbage, than my this cabbage that's been done like this with the garlic. The garlic's another plant. So just trying to have diversity in your diet is a great way to reach your goals and then be the healthiest version of you. Watermelon, a kid loves watermelon. We will never eat an entire watermelon. So I always, I know it's so much more expensive, but we, I always buy cut up watermelon because me buying a whole watermelon and us actually eating it never happens. So I like watermelon, it's not my favorite. Um, got these strawberry smoothies. I put these in Finley's lunch. Um, I just, I like these. They're not the best. They're not the worst, you know, but something for her to have at lunch. Um, I love their peanut butter crackers. So we always get these there, stock up on these. I like their gluten-free toaster waffles as well. They're really good. Finley eats these, so I always keep these in stock. Uh, oh, this is something new. This heart, hearts of palm rice. I have not seen rice. I've seen all the other kinds of noodles, but not rice. So I'm excited to try this. Um, this is 60 calories for this whole container, three grams of protein and five grams of fiber. So easy, again, something that you could throw, heat up with this and throw your protein in. Just, I mean, easy, easy things that you could do. You could even mix it with some real rice if you wanted to, just to start up and give it some, you know, change it up, whatever. Um, and oh, in my decaf, I buy the decaf coffee. I don't really do caffeine from there. Got some salsa, got a bag of tortilla chips, nothing there. Again, that's for our game night that we're having. But so again, oh, these lentils. I bought these steamed lentils ready to go. You can heat them up, you can eat them cold. Again, this is something that I would throw on the side of any meal that I'm eating. I would throw it in the pot with these guys, with this with this, just whatever. I mean, just quick, easy, and lentils in a half a cup of serving have 10 grams of protein and six grams of fiber, okay? 10 grams of protein and six grams of fiber. Such an easy way to help you hit your protein goals for each meal. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Um, and share this with your friends because the more you guys give me thumbs up and feedback on it, the more um, I'm happy to provide this kind of information and ideas or whatever it may be. So see you in the next one.